You know what you should do? You should follow me on Twitter at Bromo018. Link in the description. Do it now. What is going on everyone, it's Bromo18 here as always and welcome along to episode 37 of our Ajax career mode series on FIFA 19. It's gone so well so far. Today we have for you the second leg of the UEFA Champions League semi-final. In the previous episode, if you haven't watched that one, go and watch that first before you come on to this video. It was a really good result for us. Uh, as we uh, we got a 2-1 victory against Atletico Madrid. They did get an away goal. We played at home in the first leg. But we come to the Wanda Metropolitano thinking and believing that we can get at least one away goal. And uh, come away from the tie with a place in the Champions League final. We will, uh, If we do, then we will have either Real Madrid or Man City who are currently... Drawing 1-1 Real Madrid with an away goal there. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that one as well. But first, we have to focus on our game. Uh, and that is against Atletico Madrid. First of all, we do have a league game uh, against FC Utrecht. I was going to play this one, to be honest. But I think we are going to sim it. Um, just because I'm really excited to play the uh, the Champions League final, to be honest. Uh, the semi-final, even, should I say. We're not quite there yet. Um, so we're just going to make a load of changes. As you can see, lots of tired legs. Um, really, really taking effect uh, at this point in the season. Uh, so we've got to we've got to keep on top of it. Really, we've got St. Graven over here, and we're going to bring in Nissan Christensen as well. Full rotation, uh, that is for sure. Uh, rather, Morrison will come on. We'll also play time coat miners. Uh, we're going to put Boadu in for Paulson on the left. Ooh, we play, we play Grunewald, we play Ziyech, we play Grunewald, and I think we'll play Ziyech actually on that side as well. Uh, and then we're going to make just full rotation here, really, just to stop um, you know any players from from uh, from playing that bring coming on that we don't want to. Uh, so we'll we'll do all of this as well. Voss can uh, Voss can get an opportunity; he can come into the side, um, and we're also just putting. Some random as they were putting Labiad, putting Van Leer as well, just to stop people from going on, as I say. So, yeah, we'll go with that team. And uh, hopefully we can get a win against Utrecht and, and maintain our uh, massive lead at the top of the league table. As we uh, as we sim the game here. 1-0 loss. So that's disappointing for sure. Um, you know, simming does, does make it much more challenging. And, and that's definitely something I think we're going to look at next season if... Uh, we do do a third season in this series. Um, it's certainly something that we're going to look at if we're going to sim more games because, uh, you know, it just does make it more challenging. Um, and that's something that we, we're definitely looking to do. Sliders is another thing that I am looking into. Uh, it's, it's always tough to get the uh, the right balance with sliders. So, uh, yeah, certainly looking into them, but we'll see how that one goes. But now we do have uh, the semi-final against Atletico Madrid and uh, Frankie de Jong asking to be put in. Don't worry, Frankie, my friend. You will be in the side, that is for sure. He's got up to an 87 rated now. He just keeps on getting better and better. Um, and look at his stats. Just uh, just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. A joy to behold. Um, absolutely brilliant. His stamina is not quite uh, as good as we'd want it. You'd want it um, you know, back to full fitness. But he will be, uh, it will be a little bit tired coming into this. As will a couple of others. Tadic and Stengs. Still, we're nowhere near the level that we want them to be, which is certainly disappointing for sure. Uh, we're going to bring in Van Drongelen. Fossi Mensah as well. Yeah, so lucky we're still in the, still in a position in the league where, um, you know, we can make 10 changes to the team because um, otherwise, you know, we would be in a bit of trouble uh, because you know, look at these so many tied legs. The fixtures just don't get moved for us in Europe to, to help accommodate our run. Um... So, yeah, it's disappointing for sure. Looking here, I'm not sure I want to play in Cam now because it, I think I was going to go with Tadic, but he's also got a bit of tired legs. I guess I will just have to go with him. Donny van der Beek will come in as our boxer box midfielder, bringing back in Yusuf Paulson. Um, and then where is my man? David Neres should be around somewhere. There he is. He'll go on to the right. Um, and then on to the left. Grunewald is tired. Stengs is tired. 
we might have to go with Hassani Bande. <laughs> so um, he gets an unexpected start, but hopefully he can he can make the most of that. Uh, we'll bring in sort out the bench as well. Bring in Mike Peters. Bring on Tyne Coat Miners. Elsewhere, Daly Blind, and um, wherever you think, Graven. A bit tired, so we're going to have to go with Nissan Christensen there. And that's really what we're going to go with. This is the team. And um, it's fairly standard, although, you know, Tadic into, uh, into Cam, usually it would be Ziyech. Um, You know, but I just fancy Tadic today, to be honest. Um, he's been playing well in recent weeks, although Ziek has as well. Ziek is top scorer currently in the Champions League. Um, so... Uh, you know, perhaps he, he's, it's unwarranted that he's not starting, but it is what we're going to go with. Um, and uh, yeah, if we have a look here, Ziyech on nine goals. And Saul and Antoine Griezmann can just be on on seven and six. He's got a brilliant opportunity to finish top scorer, that is for sure. Especially if we beat Atletico Madrid today, then he will pretty much finish as top scorer. So um, yeah, that is a fantastic achievement, providing he can, he can cement that. Uh, but elsewhere, that's it, guys. That is it. Hopefully, we've got enough to uh, to get the win today because um, you know I think this is this is going to be a, a brilliant achievement if we can make it to the final. It's already been a great run, but hopefully, uh, we can go out one step further. So, without further ado, let's begin against Atletico Madrid. Terrific venue and an exciting night in prospect here in the Spanish capital at the Estadio Metropolitano. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary position as always by Lee Dixon. And Atletico have plenty on their plate going into the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Atletico Madrid up against Ajax. Yeah, thanks Derek. Atletico with plenty of work to do after that first leg. Not quite good enough, really. They'll need a better performance tonight if they're to progress to the next round. starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak starts in goal. Diego Godin plays alongside Medi Benatia in central defence. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Right, so there's the Atletico Madrid team. One change, I do believe, from the team that uh, played against us last time out. Diego Gurdin returns. I believe it was Jonathan Tarr at centre back uh, in the last in the first leg. But this time, their uh, their main man, Diego Gerdin, does return. Of course, leaving in real life, we do believe, to Inter Milan, which is uh, certainly a strange move. But um, nevertheless, on here, he does remain with Atletico Madrid. I mean, well, it's great to play in this uh, this stadium. Certainly, one that you'd want on your bucket list, isn't it? Uh, looks really nice. Obviously, very new. And um, what an occasion this promises to be. Hopefully, we can um, we can perform. And leave it to the expectation and the occasion in it. The kickoff is now. Let's go in the second leg of the semi-finals. Rodri oh, it's one well than Tadic. And away we can go here. Bande, can he get some space onto the width? He can indeed. It's a good ball to Asani Bande. He's got men running in the box here. He's going to go alone. Oh, what a finish. 2-3-1 actually on aggregate and Ajax get the away goal they so desperately needed in this game and it's Hassani Bande, a surprise start in this game with Groeneveld and the likes of uh, Calvin Stengs out because of fitness and stamina issues. Hassani Bande steals a place in the first team and what a way to prove his manager that he deserves the number one spot. It's a great finish, it's Tadic who has laid the ball off to him. Bande finds the space on the width. And Arias just can't keep up with him. It's brilliant play. It's a wonderful finish. And he sees Ajax go 3-1 up on aggregate early on in the game. 
great start. Hassani Bandai with his first goal in the camp competition this season. And what a way to get his goal scoring campaign underway. 1 0. Bandai. Van der Beek is running in now and he's got a great opportunity to make it to. He's hit the post, but he takes him out. Last man, Saul. It's got to be a red card, I believe. It's a goal scoring opportunity. It's taken out. Oh my word. He's slid him from behind and he hasn't even given him a booking. I'm sorry, but that is a red card. The referee has been horrendous this game. You've already saw one penalty appeal. We finally get the other one. Looks like it's going to be David Neres to take this. No, it isn't. It's going to be Tadic. He's got slightly better accuracy. Dujan Tadic. We're going to go left and we're going to try and go top corner here if we can. Oh, I've hit the post again. Damn it. Slightly too far off to the side. Really went for that placement into the corner and it hits the post. Oh, it's absolutely good. He will be made to rue that missed opportunity. So that they should be down to 10 men. And now we've got to deal with 11. Oh no, he left Balotelli there. And Griezmann will go for a header and they're back in the game. It's 3 2. Disappointing. And I know what it originally stems from. I tried to close him down with Ricky Van Dronglin. And uh, he lays it off and he's just able to get past him as he's, uh, as he's pressing it down. And Balotelli has that space. Um, he could drive into it if he really wanted to. That's where, where I'm sort of on about. Probably my fault, to be fair. And he whips it in. Griezmann, perhaps the marking should be better, but it's a good header nevertheless. And um, Atletico Madrid, just before half-time, they've picked up some momentum now. We do need half-time to come just to slow it down because obviously we've missed that penalty and then they've scored. It is game on. It's 1-1, 3-2 on aggregate. Right, well, that's half-time then. It comes pretty instantly after... Um, Atletico Madrid get that goal probably the right time as well, just so we can try and break up their, um, you know, their confidence. Really disappointing that we have missed uh, that penalty and opportunity to go 4-1 ahead. It was um, Atletico Madrid. They're way back in the game now, and don't write them off either. At the moment, we'll keep it the same. But there are substitutions in the offing. A couple of players have not been at the races today. Yusuf Paulson being one of them. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. But so far. So good, although we would like another one just to settle it. Griezmann picks it up there. He's got players running on. Fossi meant to deal with him. Not quite enough. Atletico Madrid really starting to come into their element now. He'll go for goal. Oh, that was close indeed. I thought that was sailing into the top corner, to be honest. It's Koke with the opportunity. If you have a look at the rebound here, see how close it was. Not quite as close as it looks, but it's a great opportunity nevertheless. And uh, it's certainly a warning. Oh, Griezmann's got a bit of space there. And Kalinic is going to try and run in behind. They've got an opportunity to throw him in forward now. We've got to get back. Frankie de Jong trying to catch up to Hernandez. Can he stop the cross in? Not quite. Randrongli manages to prevent the header. But Saul has got space on the edge of the box. Hits the post. Hernana gets a tip to it and we get it away. Wow. That was so close. And somehow we've come away not having conceded. Technically, that's as close as you can get without it going in the goal. Yes, thanks for that, Lee Dixon. Hernandez now, he's got the pace on Matsurari. It looks like he's going to go for a deep cross. This time, Martins will go for goal. Tries to volley it first time into the near post corner. It's not quite enough. We're going to make a couple of subs now. Players starting to get a bit tired. Not performing to their best. Tadic, we are going to take off for uh, Hakim Ziyech. And um, you know what? We might leave it at that now. for now. I was going to take off Paulson because he's not played well at all. But Cassieta is not really the man I want to bring on for him. Um, so we are going to leave it like that for now. Going to go over the top. Griezmann going to whip it in first time. What a cross that is. And it forces a save from Anana yet again. Trying to see who it was who got on the end of it. Might have been Rodri, actually. Don't pick him up, to be fair. It's a good ball from Griezmann. And it's straight at Anana, but he does parry it away. Got a bit of space, actually. 
Oh, it's a brilliant challenge from Fosu Mensa. Oh, no, we don't clear it here. We don't get it away. Try and play it out from the back, and it's 3-3. Wow, and it's Kalinic as well, one of the most dreadful strikers playing professional football right now. And Nikola Kalinic has somehow sneaked in at the near post. You know, I do try and play it out from the back, but at the end of the day, that is just what we do. It doesn't work. Um, Atletico Madrid with the counter press are able to uh, win it back almost instantly and they've clawed their way back into this game. We've had next to nothing in this second half. We haven't been able to get the ball down and seize control of the game. And Atletico Madrid have made us pay 3-3. And as it stands, it's going to extra time. Talia Fico got some space now. Paulson. Talia Fico, Paulson. And the bay. That's where he's overlapping. He's going to try and whip it into Paulson. This time it's a big header. He's hit the bar. And it comes out. In this game now, I thought they were going to equalize. Neres. Very close. Bande. Ziek. Paulson. He's going to go for the return to Ziek. He'll go for goal. It's a great save. I should have squared it. It just happened a bit too late for me to react to that. Oh, that's devastating. It's a great opportunity, though. Paulson. And that's it. It will go to extra time. 3-3 on aggregate, both of us with one away goal each. And as a result, we've got another 30 minutes to play. Right at the death, we had two fantastic opportunities. And I thought we'd done it. We hit the bar and hit the post, I think. Uh, maybe the second one was a save, actually. But nevertheless, Atletico Madrid dominated the majority of that second half. Um, you know, it's, it's been so long, actually. feels so long since we've actually missed the penalty. We had a brilliant opportunity. Um, to really seize this tie. But as a result, we've got more to play. We're going to take off Asani Bande, who's just sort of not been in the game other than that goal, to be honest. He's been very quiet. We're going to bring on uh, Arnaud Danjuma Groeneveld. I'm going to see how it is. De Jong is looking tired, but I really don't want to take him off because the guy, you know, he's just so important uh, to the way we play. He's just the best player we have. Um, but we're going to go with that, though, hopefully. We only need one goal, I think, because then Atletico Madrid have got to score two because of the away goal rule. So hopefully we've got enough in our locker to produce that. Let's see how it goes with extra time now ahead. De Jong does well to win that. Paulson. Van der Beek. Neres. He's got a brilliant opportunity. David Neres is through. One on one. Surely he's going to score. Slots it under Jan Oblak. And it's 2-2. 4-3 on aggregate, and Atletico Madrid now need two goals to win the tie. It cannot go to penalties, and it is David Neres once again coming up big when we need him most, almost from kickoff. Paulson, it's brilliant hold-up play, and then he spots the pass to Van der Beek. Van der Beek has got one more option. Neres running through behind. There it is. Defenders just cannot keep up with him and he finds himself in a one-on-one -on -one situation and surely he's never going to miss that, is he? Just got too much quality and that sees us go 4-3 ahead. Right, well, that's half-time in extra time then. Great way to start it off, getting that goal and it puts us in the driver's seat incredibly now. Do we make, look to make one more change, I think? Time coat miners on for Donny van der Beek. Yeah, why not? Bring some more energy into the game and try and see it out now. Zieg picked up a little bit of space on the edge now. Groeneveld has managed to remain on side. He's got another opportunity. He'll go for goal. It's parried. Zieg can't get onto the rebound. Zieg to whip it in. Paulson on the end of it. Oh, I thought he'd scored then. He actually hits the, the back of the net in after bouncing off the, the boards. But we're very close now. De Jong. Looking for Groeneveld now. Groeneveld's going to try and spread the play to Neres. It's a brilliant ball and he's got the pace on Lamar. Only for so long though. Lamar will go back to his keeper. There we have it. The full-time whistle goes. And we are through to the final of the Champions League. What a result. What an achievement this has been. I've not been expecting this. I was not expecting this from the start of the season. I thought if we could just re-establish ourselves, get through the group stage and then just see where it takes us. Well, it's taken us to the final of the Champions League and that is absolutely brilliant. So excited for this and for uh, you guys to see us as well. 
uh, in the final. Looking forward to it, whether it's Real Madrid or Man City. It doesn't really matter anymore because, you know, I think we'll just we'll just focus on ourselves and play as best as we can. And whatever happens, happens. We've done it the hard way in this game. Had to take it through to extra time. But we've managed to see it through thanks to a goal uh, from David Neres, of all people. Donny van der Beek gets man of the match. Fair play. He did play quite well. And uh, we're absolutely delighted with those performances. We'll have a look anyway to see just who we will be playing in the final of the Champions League and when it will be as well. At the moment, we're not quite sure. Currently 1-1 on aggregate between Real Madrid and Manchester City. And if we can get there as well, we'll have a little sim uh, and then find out just who it is going to be. Right, so guys, there it is. On the 30th of May, we have Manchester City in the final of the Champions League. It does mean we can hopefully play a full team in this final league game of the season, which I am going to show in the next episode, um, you know, just for the sake of it, just so we can end end the league on a high note, sort of have a, have a little review as well. Just have a look at what the score was in that game as well. Certainly interested to know just how they dealt with uh, Real Madrid especially being at the Bernabeu in the Europa League final. Chelsea v Schalke, by the way. That's a very interesting tie. They actually won 1-0, kept a clean sheet at the Bernabeu, which is uh, very impressive indeed. This will be the first uh, U European final I'll have played this season since, excuse me, since, of course, they got the licenses um, for, the, uh, for the competitions. So really looking forward uh, to seeing what that is like. Uh, and I hope you guys are going to join me for it as well. In the next episode, we'll have this game against Grafschap and have a, a little season review as well, just to see uh, just see where we'll go from here. Uh, but for now, we are going to round it off there. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more regular gaming content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter using the Twitter handle at Bromo018. The link for that is in the description. And on that note, I'm Bromo18, and I'll see you soon. Come on.